uh, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Today I'm going to do a, a quick uh, overview and run over my uh, Perception uh, Pescador uh, pedal drive 120. Um, I have this kayak for uh, it's 2020, but uh, the kayak is 2019. Uh, this is the model. So I'm going to go over it uh, from uh, uh, stern to the bow and uh, show you just the basic stuff that I have and the way that I uh, rig it. So this is the uh, rudder um, that you can see that I uh, added here um, an extension to it, which make it longer and uh, wider and uh, it helps to uh, maneuver the kayak because the rudder truthfully is not the strongest part of this uh, kayak, it's quite uh, narrow and uh, I would say uh, a bit useless. So I just add this uh, stainless steel 2 millimeter um, part with rivets and uh, yeah. So you have one <clears throat> handle here at the back, I don't know why they never done two, they done one, it doesn't make sense because obviously when you lift it you have to lift one hand here and the other hand you have to put underneath. On the other side I could do that but I prefer to do uh, the HD Blazer port for the <clears throat> flag and the light. Uh, then you go into <clears throat> uh, the uh, well which is quite nice and uh, by the way you can see that uh, I got uh, the uh, Pescador or Perception um, a silent system, I think that's how it's called. So it comes uh, already uh, fit exactly to the kayak. It's really good product. It's really uh, robust. It's really strong and uh, anti-slippery. And also you can uh, obviously um, prevent some of the noise. So that's one thing that they put, very happy with it, doesn't go uh, off no matter what, very strong. Um, <clears throat> the bungee cord obviously come with the kayak. In this color, in the camo green, it's, uh, it's orange. I think in other kayaks, different color, it's a bit uh, different, maybe black. Here I have uh, my uh, dry box and it's very nice, I like it. It's going to the well very nicely. Obviously I put here my uh, anchor and uh, the measure and I put here my drone uh, bag with the drone and the rest of the stuff that I need. Three rod rest, um, I done. Obviously those are the, uh, what they call the flash uh, rod rest that they come with the kayak, but they are completely useless. They are, have no angle. They are too wide, <clears throat> so what I done, I used a, a pipe, I think it's a one inch pipe, uh, but 45 degrees, and I put it inside a silicone um, cone that uh, I just uh, open a, a hole. So basically it sits inside. Obviously this is not for trolling or anything like that, it's just parking a uh, road rest which I have on both of the sides. I have another uh, Reblazer uh, star port uh, for the uh, over-the-shoulder camera, which goes here. Um, two launcher of uh, Scotty, which I use them either to park the road or to fish. Depends. Now I have another uh, Reblazer uh, two rod rest here. So usually, sometimes because of the current, if you're drifting, you need to use one side. So then I have two sides where I can fish, because the other side is useless to fish because the line will go under the kayak. So that's the reason. But if I don't need all of the four, I will use one of them as a rod rest, a uh, parking rod uh, in front of me, that when I bring a fish or when I want to bait the rod, I can uh, uh, stick it here and uh, uh, comfort comfortably I can uh, use it. Obviously the chair is very comfortable. You can move it back and forth on this track. Um, I have here another Blazer uh, truck system which I mounted um, for uh, my drink and this is a hook. This is, I think, I forgot the brand. 
uh, that you can put, they are sliding, so I can leash stuff that I want to leash. I leash the camera here with uh, the pole of the camera if I'm flip side, so it won't. Uh, I won't lose it at least. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, here you have another place for the drink, but I don't really use it uh, because they fall. Usually, I use it for something else to put maybe bait or a little bit of uh, maybe lures that I use, then I want them to be out. Here there is part of the uh, silent truck system that also goes specifically on those two parts. This is again to put here, I put a bait usually that I cut, worms, uh, fish bait, it's ready to go. Um, I have my anchor uh, system, which is uh, quite basic. I have a video on it, how I, uh, I mounted it. Uh, this one, uh, take down and up the rudder but again it's quite useless obviously with this uh, way of the rudder uh, I can't use it so I need to remember to put the rudder uh, down before I enter because it's too heavy for this one to pull it uh, over so if I put it already down and I go into the water I have no problem when I come out also I don't need to put it up because they're going to scrub the, uh, the seabed and, and because it goes up uh, there's no problem with it so nothing uh, really happening um, so uh, the anchor trolling system at the beginning I used to do it I, I put it on the left side but uh, eventually I changed it to the right side because on the left side you have the area where you want to put your uh, paddle and that's going to be too much uh, things to actually get snug so here it's basically by itself here I have in the front, I put a perception kayak, a, a, a kind of a mesh um, system to hold stuff. So I put here usually my um, elastic and my uh, weights before I go out. So they are next to me um, and it goes like this into that part of the seat. I have another Yagir um, uh, pouch that I put at the back. So I can again put here if I need a uh, sun cream or uh, gloves or stuff like that. Right, so that's what I use. Here in the front is the pedal system. Um, here you can obviously take it off. You can deploy, uh, deploy, and, uh, upload, uh, deploy and bring up the uh, pedal drive. Again, another little um, niche to uh, uh, put stuff. I added two eyes here again to leash if I need something. Uh, I can leash my uh, plier, I can leash uh, other stuff that I use, and I can stick them here. Uh, the pedal system, pedal drive system, the Pilot 120. Uh, yeah, I had one problem with it. Obviously, after less than two years, I was inside the guarantee. They gave me a perception, sent me straight away new one. Uh, with help of some people that has um, some people that have pre uh, perception as well, I've been told to 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 grease it once a year. So I open four screw here and four screw down, and put uh, grease. And since then, um, I think it's okay, uh, no problem. Um, moving on, you have those two uh, storage uh, box. Here I put my uh, battery and the. Uh, uh, sonar, um, fish finder, uh, electricity inside a dry bag. It's not waterproof, but it's um, splash proof at least. So water really doesn't go there. So this is one, this is the other one which I hold your other stuff, uh, uh, extra things, uh, little electrical uh, battery weight, uh, monoline, uh, fuel rig um, replacement and so on. Uh, you have another well, very good, it's open well. Usually what I put here is my um, uh, Red Blazer uh, sea tag, where if I'm not too close to the parking where I am, <coughs> launch the kayak, I will take it with me. If I'm close to the car, I will put it back in the car. But if I need to take it, and usually I put here the um, the body of it and the two, the two wheels goes inside here. Um, yeah, so what else I have here? I have, of course, the <coughs> Fish Finder uh, Raymarine um, 5. Um, I put it on this ram pole. I put here the one and a half inch ball ram um, system. So it goes from one and a half inch to one inch and hold it. But I also have the bar that I can put that on the bar and eventually the bar will be 
a bar for uh, rod uh, resting. If we go to the left side of the kayak, what used to be my original uh, system for uh, anchor, I actually uh, just, if you can see, this is the eye for the original one. So basically what I done, because this is the area for the, uh, for the um, a, a paddle, I done, I put this one for the paddle, so the paddle really have two points that it holds. And I done here, uh, instead of a full trolley uh, system anchor, I done half a trolley system anchor. If I want to use half, if I want to use it for the, uh, for the drug uh, in the front, I will, I will use it. Again, I have here another Yag gear, um, um, hook holder, a blazer two, rod holder, uh, that I can use either for parking or for fishing, depends which side I fish. Uh, my um, um, R600 boom, uh, as I have it in the back for the front camera. So I have two camera, one in the front, which is the main camera, one in the back, and I have one now on my head, on strap. And uh, that's it basically, very important. You know, if you don't have it, uh, you should have it. I don't know what system you use, but uh, peeing on the kayak, it's quite, uh, can be quite um, uh, annoying. And uh, I use this one, it's also float if it falls, but uh, yeah, it uh, allow you to, to release yourself. And uh, yeah, uh, what else you have here? Uh, the last thing is that you have in this kayak only one, one uh, uh, entrance to the rear um, uh, part of the kayak, which goes like this. Um, which from here I done few of uh, my, uh, uh, my my rigging. If to get to get into put it here uh, when you need to need to put the, the nuts underneath, or even those one, the same thing. Uh, Scotty launcher, which is very, which are very good, right? Um, I use this entrance in order to rig everything. Um, of course, this is the the rather um, this is the rather wheel or whatever you want to call it. I'm very, I'm very happy with it. I mean, I, I just uh, n never tried anything else, truthfully, but uh, yeah, I don't think uh, for now uh, I need anything better than that. It's cruising very well um, uh, in, in, in the tide, in the current, in the sea. I also use it uh, for fresh water a little bit on the Thames, as you saw in my other videos. And yeah, that's it. That's my uh, Perception Pascador. Uh, pilot uh, 120 I hope uh, you enjoyed the video please if you haven't subscribed uh, check my other content um, leave a like press notification bell until next time Castanet Fishing Kayak Adventure Tight Lines